Hey, what's up Elemental community? It's your boy Dominic from Web Nature and today I will show you guys something very very awesome. In previous videos I showed you that we have something like a um, full page animation library called full page JS and we also showed you how to implement it. It was a little bit tricky, a little bit hacky, but um, our friend of a friend of ours, Alvaro Trigo, released the Elemental plugin, so now it's fully integrated in Elemental and you can basically do it without any additional knowledge or basically without any videos but i will show you guys how to do it um, so you can get an overview before you actually buy it or try it out so yeah let's jump into it so the plugin is called full page js plugin for elementor and it's currently the version 1.5 and tomorrow is black friday so I have some very very nice coupons for you guys for so basically for the full page JS plugin and for Elementor Pro which uh, you will also need to create a header or a footer and uh, yeah, make some global elements that you can reuse on multiple sites. So yeah basically this is the plugin page and what you have what we have is a parallax we have uh, horizontal scrolling drag and move offset sections yeah you can read it on your own but basically what I did is I prepared this little page here where you have horizontal slides and a very nice uh, yeah, full page slide animation here and I mean you can customize it as you want I also have a nice menu here basically this hamburger would be the menu here which is expandable but I have not integrated it if you want to see how you can integrate a hamburger menu like this which pops up from the side let me know in the comments also, if you want to know how to make some more fancy animations with full page JS, let me know in the comments as well. Give a thumbs up and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. I guess that's what the algorithm likes, right? So yeah, let's edit it with Elementor just to show you guys how I made it. It's very, very straightforward. Each section, section represents a page here, like a, like the full page the transition. And um, so yeah, basically in the first section, what we what we do is we have a column, and um, so first of all, what we do is we go here to full page, and enable full page JS. And in this section, I activated horizontal slides and the responsive order height, and the navigation colors. You can change them. I did not change them, so they look they don't look that good. But yeah, you can do it on your own. And you can also disable the scroll overflow, full height columns, you can even add the tooltip. So for the points on the side, you can name them. And um, yeah, basically what we have is the column. Inside this column, we have two sections. So as you can see, this is one inner section and this is one inner section. Inside the section is very straightforward. You just have the usual elementor, heading, heading, text editor, icon, stuff like that. And this section also has this uh, full page option here where you can put your anchor, full height columns or your navigation colors as well for each inner section. So this is the second section, full page as well. And so basically that's it, very straightforward. And in this section we also enabled uh, full page JS for the full height section behavior. And yeah, that's it. That's how I did it. You can do it in under one minute basically you just go here enable full page and put your layout inside and you can also even enable it on even on existing sites the only thing you have to do is um, yeah adjust the inner sections and install the full page js plugin yeah guys so as i mentioned i will show you all the coupon codes that i got so that you can get the best bang for your buck on black friday there was a lot of bees but yeah for now Stay healthy guys, stay protected and have a nice Black Friday and the rest of the year. Thanks and I will see you soon. Bye bye.